back. Now look, look where you're gonna shoot now. Whoa, did you see how far you shot that thing? What did I do it? You went all the way over that building. Hey, hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner. These are my two new bros. This is Roy and Bubba. Now to get the full gist of what we're doing right now, you actually got to back up to about two hours ago when I was out at the archery shop in Okeechobee, Florida. Just so y'all don't think I'm jacking around, I don't even know the fellow's name. What's your name? Roy. Roy? Yes. My best friend growing up was named Roy Burnshead Jr. So this video is dedicated to Officer Roy Burnshead Jr. who died in the line of duty on, I believe it was October 23rd, 2001. And then we got one of the coolest guys ever, that's Will. And so he's, we're just gonna go to the ranch hog hunt. Roy has never killed a hog with his bow. He was in the shop just talking about, it. he was looking to book a hunt, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, hey, I'm going hog hunting this afternoon. This is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in your whole life. He just goes into the archery shop and helps people because he likes to help people. Just a blessed soul. So I called Jordy and Austin, was like, look, meet me at the ranch, we're gonna go hog hunting. And the reason I was at the shop is I just got me a brand new bow. I left my bow out in the Northern Mariana Islands, so I was like, time to get a new bow. And uh, But I am still shooting Rage Broadheads. And uh, we're all hooked up, ready to rock? What do you think? Hey. Are you excited? Yes, I am, very. <laughs> He's from Cincinnati, Ohio. He's down seeing his mother-in-law. He's from Okeechobee, Florida. Drop a thumbs up below if, uh, if you would like to come do something like this. And no matter where in the world you're watching, just leave a comment below like where you're watching from because I love to see where everyone's from. Come on. All right, y'all. Time to go. ranch we have a good number of hogs but they are wild they don't mess around people think they have terrible eyes they can see really well. I mean they can't see as well as a elk or a deer but they can see plenty good but their nose they don't second guess it second they wind you they're gone That's as fresh as it gets. Hey, pretty mama. If I wouldn't have, like if we didn't shoot at them hogs and run them hogs off, she would have never went into that feeder. She would have just walked along the outside of it. But that's the reason we have it here. We've been gone all summer long. Those feeders are called castaway feeders and they're like bulletproof. They're such a huge, huge, improvement to your property. Fill them up with corn and let them run.
Whew. Thank you, Jordy. Thanks. Whew. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> the best time of my life right now. First time I ever got to do a hog hunt, and I got one. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Drilled him. Yeah, it was a beautiful shot. <laughs> hey, I ain't kidding y'all. I bought this bow and got it this morning. When we were on that first hunt and we had all the hogs, I was they they saw this blue shirt. That's what they saw. So I threw on my frog tog jacket and uh we just got right in here perfect, man. Hey, scan my brother. Beautiful brother. He literally he went from right here. He didn't make it 35 yards. He didn't make it 30. He didn't make it 25 yards. What a hog, man. What a hog, boys. Dude! This hog has no ears! Check that out. Rage Hypodermic NC. Got my new Bowtech. And the very first shot hog didn't go 25 yards. Well, 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 my boy. Oh, nice. When was the last time you saw a big boar hog with no ears? Never. First time for everything. Did you find him? No, not yet. Hey, success, success. Ease on in there and grab that hog. Oh yeah, there he is. What you think, brother? First wild hog. Yep. There you go. Well, that's a great eating hog right there, boy. Just give me some skin, my man. I'm happy for you. Thank you. We're gonna go to the house and cook that rascal up. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> hey, how did that? How does that old saying go? I love it when a plan comes together. We just got back to my house here, and we have a huge lightning storm coming in, and we're all starving. It's about nine o'clock at night, so I'm gonna show you how to go real quick and just uh. Bust out some camp meat. We're cutting camp meat tonight, y'all. Follow this right down the, the center, all the way to right there. Then, once you do that, hold your hold that hide and just there you go. Make sure you don't get any hair and whatnot on your meat. Once you come right there, make sure your knife is nice and sharp man this hog is healthy and just there you go come in just like this That right there is straight out the field, y'all. That is what organic meat looks like. Now we're gonna go cook it. 
you know it's fall when I'm getting ready to make some fried backstrap. And you see how it's got a little bit of just funk on there? Take your fillet knife or whatever, woods and water, and just skin that whole, all that off. Now you're gonna have nice, pretty meat. And then all you're gonna need to do is just cut little medallions just like that. This meat was just harvested tonight. So make it thin, otherwise it may be real tough. There's our back straps, all trimmed out. We're gonna be real simple here. We're gonna salt them up nice. Take some pepper. Man, I love good pepper. I wish I was using fresh cracked pepper, but whatever. Just use what you got. And I apologize everybody, but there's no way I'm doing this without Everglades Original. Just like that. And then just take it, and let it fall in love. Let it all just be happy. Get all that seasoning and love in there. And if you notice, there's no water, none, zero water. Take a little bit of flour. When I was a kid, honest to God, this was the all time, 100%, Favorite, I like this more than ice cream, more than chocolate, more than steak, more than anything. Fried hog meat, fried deer meat. That's, oh my God. And now, you just taking ladies. Hey baby. Yeah, Ari's a princess? And who is that frog? Is that your pet frog? Yeah. Yeah. So if any of y'all are wondering, my birthday was yesterday, September 7th, and Sarah was like, babe, what do you want for your birthday? I was like, I would love it if you took your sister to Disney World for like three or four days and just enjoyed your time. I'm totally not into birthday parties or none of that. Now I will for my kid and my wife and whatnot, but I didn't want anyone going out of their way for me. I swear to you, my mouth is watering, my heart is happy, and I am hungry. Now, we're gonna take some of these sweet onions that I've got peeled and sliced up, throw them in this oil, just like that. Let it just cook down and out of oil, just like that. Then you take this, sliced white onions, throw them in there, the whole box of them. Look how pretty that is. That's the leftover flour that we were dredging our meat in. So it's got some of that love in it too. Take your spoon and just sort of let all that flour start absorbing the oil. I would rather use whole milk, but this is all I got, 1% milk. Just dump it in there just like that. And here in the South, we refer to that as milk gravy. You could have easily used like um, chicken broth or beef broth, but if you add milk to it and just let this start to thicken up, watch what happens. As your gravy is coming together, it's, it's almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. Like right now, see how nice and silky that is? That's what we're looking for. When you're making this gravy, it's not gonna look great until it looks great. I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying there, but I have a point. You're gonna get yourself a nice scoop of grits. Take some of this pork, put right on top, just like that and then get yourself some of your gravy with mushrooms and onions, just like that. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this food and thank you for this wonderful opportunity to meet some awesome new friends. Lord, thank you for giving us a safe day out on the ranch with a wonderful bounty. Lord, please be with us and guide us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. All right, y'all, dig in. I wanna hear what you have to say.
This is what I grew up on, man. Fried backstrap, fried pork. Oh, that's amazing. Really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, bro. Very good. Roy's kind of quiet over there. Very good. You like it? Yes. Seriously? Yes. I like it very much. Man, it's such an honor to have you out. And Thank you. I literally just meet these fellas in the bow shop. And I'm going to tell you, if y'all live here in the state of Florida, especially in between Orlando and Miami, it'd be worth your time to go see Brandon. What's the name of that shop? Skull Hill Archery. Skull Hill Archery in Okeechobee, Florida. Brandon, if you're watching, I really appreciate the detail and effort that you put into my setup. This is a dream come true, and I appreciate you taking the ride with us. But that's all I got for now. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.